This is a video for the ellipse handout problems 22 and 24. We're going to start with doing problem number 22. We started by grouping our x's and grouping our y's because we want to make complete squares for this to get it in standard form. To do that we need to um, have factor out a 4 from the group of x's and group out the 9 for the group of y's because to complete the square we always want our first term to be 1 and then our variable squared. So we're going to look at this and say what would make this a perfect square and it would be adding um, half of 4 times uh, half of 4 squared which would be adding 4 and here we would be adding half of 2 squared which would be 1 squared which is 1. So we add those into their groups and then this becomes this trinomial is actually a perfect square. It's x minus 2 quantity squared. And this trinomial is actually x plus 1 quantity squared. So we can write them as perfect squares. You might be wondering, why did I write plus 16 and plus 9 here when it looks like I only added 4 and 1? But I added the 4 and 1 to the groups, but to the equation I actually added 4 times 4 because everything in this group is being multiplied by 4. And I didn't add 1 over here to the equation. I added 1 to the group, but I added 9 times 1 to the equation. So therefore, I added 16 and 9 on the left-hand side, and so therefore, I have to write add 16 and 9 to the right-hand side. We're going to simplify this, writing our perfect squares and simplifying the, um, the right-hand side over here. But this needs to be a 1, so we're going to divide everything by 36. And now we have the ellipse written in its standard form where we can find the center by, by using uh, 2 and negative 1. That's our center. Our A is 3. Our B is 2. And then the C is the square root of the difference, so it'll be the square root of 5. Using the center and those um, A, A, B, and C, we can find our four vertices and our two foci. Now we're going to work on problem number 24. Problem 24, we do the same thing as we group our x's, we group our y's, and we add 44 to both sides because we want our constants on the right-hand side of the equation. So I factor out the 9 from the x's and the 16 from the y's. I need to complete this square by adding 4 and complete this square by adding 4 as well. But remember, I didn't add 4 and 4 to the equation. I added 4 times uh, 9, or 9 times 4, and 16 times 4 to the equation, so that's 36 and 64. Simplifying, I can write now write those perfect squares where I completed them. So I have x minus 2 quantity squared, but it's being multiplied by 9. And over here I've got, again, y minus 2 quantity squared times 16. I need it to equal 1, so I'm going to divide everything by 144. And now the ellipse is in its standard form. We can see that the center of the ellipse is 2, 2. And our a is 4, our b is 3, and then the difference of 16 and 9 is 7, so our c is the square root of 7. Using our a, b, and c, along with our center, we can find the four vertices and the two foci.